A truly timeless installation, whether temporary or permanent, alters its surroundings by broadening the idea of what could belong there. From a mirage-like luxury store in the American desert to a floral matrix that for decades was the unreleased vision of a leading conceptual pioneer, to the Chicago structure we can now no longer imagine the city without. What is done with art cannot be undone, and our world is richer for it. Hoy Slash Yo, by Deborah Cass, Brooklyn, New York The latest addition to Brooklyn Bridge Park is a prominent example of Deborah Cass pop art aesthetic. Cheatily proclaiming Yo as one enters Brooklyn and Oil as one leaves, it quite literally speaks the local vernacular. Cass painted aluminum sculpture references at Russia's Oof, which hangs in New York City's MoMA as inspiration. If these fresh vowels inspire any good nature and trash talk as to the prevailing message, they've succeeded in capturing the spirit of the city. 7. By Richard Serra, Doha, Qatar Comprising nearly 24 m of steel, Richard Serra 7 sculpture stands with regal confidence beyond the towering skyline of Doha Bay. A site-specific work, it showcases Serra's signature spatial simplicity as well as thoughtful references to Islamic culture a new symbology for the artist. Seven is a perfect addition to the ancient meets contemporary mission of the Museum of Islamic Art, a minaret of cross-cultural exchange. Lines in four directions in flowers, by Sol Lewis, Philadelphia five years after Sol Lewis's death and 30 years after his floral installation was first conceived. Lines in four directions in flowers finally came to fruition at the Philadelphia Museum of Art. White, red, Yellow and blue flowers planted in quadrants and surrounded by a hedge inhabited a plot of land behind the museum. The geometric gardens, which bloomed for two years, call to mind the finely fruitless estate gardens of your though, in this case, it is the province of conceptual art royalty. For Pittsburgh, by Jenny Galter, Pittsburgh, USA The cultural renaissance of Pittsburgh, formerly defined by the steel industry and its decline has been widely covered. Having emerged as an education hub and civic example, it's no wonder the predominant theme of Jenny Galter's for Pittsburgh installation is celebratory. Utilizing LEDs on a nearly unparalleled scale, the work is a continuous neon scroll of great texts about Pittsburgh. The words of Thomas Bell, Danny Dillard and more illuminate the roof line of the David Tell Lawrence Convention Center, reminding locals and visitors alike that there's a future in looking up. Exterior boat equals ghost ship. By Chris Burton, New York City compared with Chris Burton's early infamy for death-defying performance art, the unmanned voyage of his ghost ship seems relatively tame. After completing its remote-controlled navigation from Air Isle to Newcastle upon Tyne, the ship has found a home suspended on the exterior of the new museum in New York City. The late Burton, who died earlier this year, studied under light and space pioneer Robert Irwin and, although the artist is better known for his theatrics than his optics, the striking planes of that nautical vessel hint at his origins. Heartbeat, by Charles Pedalon, London Charles Pedalon's Covent Garden installation. His first public artwork was a 100,000 balloon bid to elevate the ordinary. Hovering over the well-trafficked arcade like so many elastic hearts, the installation undulated with its own pulse. Heartbeat also marked the first of Pedalon's dreamy balloon compositions outside of France, but hopefully not his last. Kalani Hafus, by Tom Fruin, Brooklyn, New York Tom Fruin lives and works in Brooklyn, so it's appropriate that his 2010 work Kalani Hafus would return to Brooklyn Bridge Park after a tour of Scandinavia and Eastern Europe. Modeled in the archetypal, peak form of a Danish gardening shed, the reclaimed plexiglass structure glimmers with the patchwork gleam of a far less modest stained glass window. Mammon, by Louise Bourgeois. Moscow as the artist who wrote I have been to hell and back and let me tell you it was wonderful, question mark Louise Bourgeois irreverent point of view is steeped in universality. Her massive steel, bronze and marble arachnid, hewn in 1999, has traveled the world, eliciting strong emotions everywhere it goes. An ode to motherhood and, by extension, daughterhood and the most primitive of human pains, Megan, is a 30 feet sight to behold empty and a lion, by Amanda Leva. Melbourne at the center of Melbourne's rising architecture profile is a rotation of installations at Queen Victoria Gardens. One recent site-specific work to bloom in Victoria's capital is Amanda Leavitt's canopy of 52 resin petals. The graceful structure is deceptively strong, incorporating innovations in nautical engineering. Sitting technology for a work that transports you. Plutonian and Propsertina, by Jeff Koons, 
Miami Coon Sculpture, previously installed in Florence's Galazzo Vecchio, has taken up temporary residence in Miami. This move, of course, bore no resemblance to the myth of Proserpina's unwilling journey south to the underworld. Pluto and Proserpina is the city's first public large-scale coon prey to Martha, by Elm Green and Drag Set, Martha, Texas. Michael Elm Green and Inger Drag Set's 2005 installation has survived diligent the basement and swarmed of photo-loving prey to diehards. With the fashion house's blessing, the creative duo raised up for replicas in the Texas desert with actual Prada handbags and shoes filling the building. Just 30 minutes northwest of Marpa, it's a necessary pit stop on any continental road trip. Encountered by James Morrill, Cooley Pican, Mexico an integral part of the light and space movement, James Morrill has focused his efforts on literal outer space, with works designed to shift the eyes toward the heavens. In the late 70s, he began converting an Arizona crater into an observatory or skip space. This year, he unveiled the philosophically similar work at Mexico's Cooley Pican Botanical Garden. Entering a grass-covered dome, the viewer glimpses the sky through a luminous ellipse, inviting the naked eye to absorb our place in the universe entitled, by Hermann Quijater, see what Sven, Netherlands underpasses, renowned for, that best, quality graffiti, have been re-imagined in one Dutch town as a spectrum of neon light. Thurman Quijater Funnel Vision is both an infrastructure asset and a site for sore eyes. As far as tunnel entertainment goes, it certainly beats the childhood practice of holding one's breath. As long, that is, as drivers remember to keep their eye on the road your rainbow panorama, by Holo for Ellie Essen, or who was, Denmark Holo for Ellie Essen's work has always explored natural elements and phenomena. From filling the tape with a glowing mist, to installing waterfalls in New York's harbor, the Danish Icelandic artist has a knack for creating wonder. Your Rainbow Panorama, located atop Arl or Hoos Kunst Museum, is no exception. The full art of YGDID spectrum can be experienced by visitors circling the 150 meter long pavilion, offering panoramic views through rose, and every other color, tinted glass. Cloud Gate, by Danish Caport, Chicago fondly nicknamed the Bean. It's hard to believe Anish Kapoor's kidney-shaped arch has only been a Chicago fixture for less than a decade. Now, no trip to the Windy City is complete without the requisite reflective selfie hair, no doubt, in one's eyes. The stainless steel distortion of sky, skyline, and passerby alike, Cloud Gate is everything an outdoor sculpture should be. Understanding, by Martin Creed, Brooklyn, New York Understanding has come about between the boroughs of Brooklyn and Manhattan, literally thanks to Turner Prize-winning British artist Martin Creed. Creed's conceptual projects include an affinity for word art and crossover between art and music. His Turner Prize entry an empty room with uniformly flickering lights was so minimal as to provoke outrage from members of the public. Compared to that, understanding is very straightforward. Although, as with any prominent art, the 25-foot neon structure is open for broad interpretations, 